Some Cedarville students are getting a head start on self-driving vehicles this month. They are test driving an autonomous golf cart they programmed themselves. Two News reporter Deborah Bogart gives us a closer look in a story you'll see only on two. Four senior students spearheading this project for Cedarville University, putting together this technology that's driving us into the future. With just a few clicks on the computer, this self-driving golf cart is on the go. Data is sent to a microcontroller, which is a small like computer chip, and that computer chip takes that data and, and sends signals to the motors, which allow the motors to turn, which allows the cart to drive. The students say in order to get the project done in a year, they had to focus on making it self-driving. That means right now it's not able to detect objects in its path, but no worries. It does have two emergency kill safes as they create new routes using GPS coordinates. You just have to have a person who can drive the cart and have the GPS on, recording points. So you just drive the route and then the cart can drive it itself afterwards. The project advisor, who has a background in autonomous vehicles, says the project was solely the student's idea. Adding the skills they learned, integrating different systems and ideas could pave the way for other self-driving vehicles. Something like with public transportation or like with a shuttle service or something like that and making it cheaper for people to have services that way, that would be really great. This is the first year an autonomous vehicle has been a senior project. Advisors say it will continue next year with a focus on obstacle detection and routing. Reporting in Cedarville, Deborah Bogart, 5 on 2.